Should we tell them? We've been keeping a really big secret and I have been dying to tell you. Stick around and you'll find out. and welcome to today's video. Someone new has moved into the barn. So for those of you who've been following us, you know that I am just starting my horse journey. The girls have been riding and they are well on their way with their horse journey, but mine is just starting and so is Scott's. This past fall, we went trail riding for the first time and I loved it. I definitely needed a slower, more relaxed horse, a horse that is more woe than go. And ideally I wanted something as short as possible that could still comfortably carry the weight of an adult. I wanted a horse that was gonna be great with the kids, great with beginners, great with families. Also one that not only that I could ride, but that the girls could also ride during lessons. Now that they're gonna start dressage lessons as well, I'd love something for that. And that Julia can take to shows. And with Julia being a little more nervous, this horse is gonna be perfect. We made the decision to get another horse. We've been casually looking for years for one particular breed. It is my dream breed. And we all fell in love with this breed from our old lesson barn and we've known several horses from this breed. We love their temperament. We'll often find them as wonderful family horses, wonderful trail horses. They are often the horses that you might find in an equine therapy program working with kids with disabilities. They're very calm. We finally found the perfect horse. I am so excited to introduce her to you. I'm gonna pop you over to some footage so you can see the journey from the start. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So, we're doing a thing. We're doing a thing. We're doing no, a thing. Jen's done a thing. <laughs> I helped convince her to do that thing. Jen's very excited. No so worries. are you. You know you are. I'm just excited I get to drive. So a few videos back, I had let you guys know there's been a lot of changes that are happening on our farm while I was sick and not videoing. And so one of those changes, we are embarking on a very long journey here. What is this? <laughs> ominous. <laughs> <laughs> the English teacher and her. I feel, right. I feel like the Star Wars credit are going to come by or something. All right. <laughs> we are embarking on a treacherous It was a dark night in the galaxy. <laughs> we, we were, we were on the, the Empire moon. was close. We were on the moon. Okay, listen. We're on the moon? <laughs> oh my God. All right. <laughs> we're on the moon? <laughs> we are on our way. We are on a long road trip right now, and we are going out of province because... Back when we filmed our question and answer video, we had said no more horses unless it was a fjord. And we have found the perfect fjord. This is going to be a horse that I'm going to be starting my horse journey on. And so she is a trail horse. She has been working at... The big been, selling feature was that she could just... <laughs> yeah, the horse is insane, but have they done medieval stuff? <laughs> have they jousted? So wait for the video for Jen to put on her knight's outfit. I have a medieval outfit too. Her medieval outfit. And go and jousting. Go jousting. And I was teaching. It she's, was for something. I don't remember what. She's gonna go jousting. <laughs> stay tuned for that video. Oh well, yeah. Stay, her, stay she tuned. Might fall off because stay of the for the, Stay I'm tuned for the how hey, to build hey, a hey, lance. Hey. I know how to do it anyway because See? when we there we go. Oh my god. You do it with like macaroni and spaghetti and stuff so when it explodes it looks like wood splinters. That's how they did Knight's Tale. I read about it. I was waiting for the Knight's Tale reference. Oh, you read about it. <laughs> no, for real though. We are headed off. We have found a fjord. She's 15 years old and she's registered. She has been part of a trail riding facility. She does 
camps and has been working as an equine therapy and she program. she does come as a plus one. Yeah, the only downside <laughs> is that she comes with downside. I mean, it's not a downside. She comes with Project <laughs> Pony. She comes with her baby one. who is nine months old. We've actually been looking, well, we, I, I've been I looking for years for the right fjord and there's been lots of times we've fun. almost gotten a fjord and something's fallen through at the last minute. So fingers crossed it doesn't fall through this time. But this one, I honestly feel like the others were probably not best suited. This one is great for kids, beginners, people with disabilities. So she's very calm, excellent, not spooky in the trails, loves trail riding, loves all the things that we're gonna be doing with her. The plan would also be that Julia and Kate could ride her as well and that Julia would be able to do stuff with her. Next video is going to be me and Mummy Joasting. I'm on Jack, she's on a fjord. Stop. It's decided. So, what they're all laughing about with the jousting is because one of my selling points when I was explaining how great she was was Compared that. To other horses. Yeah, was that she's done parades and she has done medieval camps where they do jousting on them and extreme cowboy stuff. And so she's very calm, nothing spooks her. Not because obviously I do not plan on jousting. No, she's <laughs> jousting. But the image of that It'll will just, haunt it's, you. <laughs> it's that what I was I'm trying to explain get, is well, like she's you know. obviously, she's done things like this and she's worked in an equine therapy program. She's very good with kids and day camps that she's done. She's been a lesson horse. She's gonna be good for me, <laughs> so. No, that was don't, <laughs> don't listen to her lies. She wants to start jousting. No plans on jousting here, but. Yeah. Montreal to stay the night with family and heading off tomorrow to go get the fjords. Hi guys, so we have picked up the fjords. They, oh they're so beautiful and they're so wonderful. The baby is so brave, so sweet. The mom is even sweeter. We're on the way home now. So we didn't film while we were there to protect the privacy of the owners and also it's emotional. They absolutely love their horses and because of extenuating circumstances, they have to let them go. So they wanted to make sure that they're going to be loved and have a good family. It was very hard for them. So when we went to go load them onto the trailer, we were fully expecting baby, to not go on because she's never been on the trailer and mom has been on a trailer but the baby just walked right on she went Kate on first just let her right on yeah she literally just Kate brought her right up and she went right on I led her up and she like licked the walls a few times and then I asked her to uh, keep walking and she just like walked all the way up so we brought her up and then struggled with her mom <laughs> Yeah, mom did not want to come up. She took a bit of work, but we finally got her on and I just wanted to come on here and show you guys. So we have a camera for our trailer and before we had the camera, I thought it was more of just a luxury, but I didn't realize how much we depend on it now that we have it. And I cannot imagine doing this trip without it. Right now, if we didn't know what was going on there, I think we'd be stopping constantly and with the camera, we can just sit here, watch how they're doing. We can see everything that they're doing. We can adjust the camera. We can see if they're eating, if they seem happy, if they seem stressed. Even just for taking corners and slowing down, speeding up, we can see how they're able to balance in there. It has been amazing. We absolutely love it. We have a long drive ahead of us right now, so we're probably gonna get home pretty late tonight. <laughs> a 
long trip home, but they did so Hi, good. Baby. This is the baby. She's never backed off a trailer before. Yeah, she's You're, You're okay. Back up. Back up? Yeah. Hey, it's Jerry. Where's my backwards? Good girl. Give her time. Good job. All right, let her get a little worse. Oh, oh, my mom. Bring her, bring her in. Mom having a nice roll in the snow. Babies running around and playing. Good girl. <laughs> Just stretching their legs. They've been cooped up in a trailer all yesterday and then straight into the stall for night. So it's the first time that they've really been able to run and stretch their legs. Oh, this is Flora. Hey, say hello. Hi, YouTube. And here is her baby. She is the biggest sweetheart. Yes, you are. So while it may seem a little out of the blue to most of you, this has been something that we've always had on the back burner and looking for. We never really thought it was going to be a possibility because fjords are really hard to find in Ontario. And there's not a lot of them in Canada, but especially in our part of Canada, there really isn't. So we never really thought it was a possibility, just always a dream and I've always been looking. And when we did our question and answer video, things have changed a lot since then. At the time we had Foxy and we've unfortunately lost her in the last several months. And Luna is away at boarding and then she'll go off for training. So we are down to three horses here. We will have lots of time for them. And these two are absolute dolls. The other thing is, is because of the work she's done, she is going to be a horse that Julia can ride as well. She is shorter, she's slower. She's used to working with kids that are a little more nervous. Ideally, this is Scott and I, our dream to be able to go out with the kids on trail rides. This is gonna be something that Scott and I can do as we get older too. These are horses that were very loved and very well cared for. And we're glad that we can continue giving them a home full of love. So right now we are keeping them separated from the 
other horses. The other horses are all the way on the other side of the riding arena. They will be able to see each other, but they're a good distance away. So they will be quarantined over here for probably about a month. And they in the barn are on the opposite side of the barn from the other horses. They are adjusting so well. Baby has been running around and playing here. Mom too, they're really friendly. They're really gentle. They're really playful. And we are already absolutely in love.